Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1970 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the Seattle Pilots and the Oakland Athletics at the Oakland Coliseum. On the mound for the Pilots today is John Gelnar, whose record is 2-7 and seven with a 5.68 ERA. And pitching for the A's is John Blue Moon Odom, whose record is 7-3 with a 3.76 ERA. Okay, we had a kind of a shocking victory yesterday. One of the most normal games that we've played all season. Pilots managed to win 3-1 to one over the A's, and Bruce Brubaker gave us four fantastic innings uh, before we yanked him out and brought in uh, Dick Ruthven, who ended up getting the victory. We held the A's to one run and a home run. I think it was the 26th from Darren Johnson. He also had a double. So uh, a, a very decent performance from uh, all aspects of our team. And we move on to today's game. Now, we are going to do a doubleheader today in order for us to keep up the pace uh, to be done by the end of uh, the month of March in real life and be ready to go with the baseball season April 1st for the 1985 Detroit Tigers season replay. And so, uh, yeah, we need to get a bunch of doubleheaders in. We will do one today. So we'll wrap up the series versus the A's, starting with the Gelnar Odom matchup. And then game two will be Ron Locke versus Chuck Dobson. So stay tuned for that. As we close out the month, at the end of the month, we will do our uh, end of August summary video where we'll take a look at the standings and league leaders. And then I will put together uh, the August player pyramid, which we'll make available on the 1st of September here um, in the game calendar. Uh, and that'll sh highlight uh, all the top players uh, through the month of August, which is something I've added recently, uh, this well, this season anyway, and I think it's a lot of fun. I actually enjoy doing it. So uh, whether you enjoy that or not, you're going to get it. Okay, let's go ahead and get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along, like, and or subscribe to the channel. And I want to also mention that we are up to uh, Quick Hits number four. That, will be, that video will be available um, at the end of this video. And so I am going back and watching these videos as well. I watched uh, the first three last night as uh, video number three was uh, after yesterday's ball game. And uh, I have to laugh at myself because you have to remember, I was making these videos at the very early stages of uh, this YouTube channel. And the videos are pretty good. I mean, they're, they're okay. But there's a lot of uh, lack of recognition of which cards are the better cards. We're opening up packs of like 2021 baseball cards. And that was the year that Shohei Otani missed due to uh, Tommy John surgery. And so I'm pulling Shohei Otani cards and I'm like kind of like indifferent to it. When in fact those are the best cards you can collect right now uh, are the Shohei Otani cards. And so it makes me laugh. Um, how uh, things have changed in just a span of three years. And so after today's game, uh, Quick Hits number four will be in the video uh, column right here. And I'll be watching that video as well. Okay, we got John Geldar making the start. Uh, the current uh, athletics lineup is batting 260 against him. All the bullpen is available today. We have to keep in mind that whoever we use in game one we will not be available to use in game two, right? If, if we're trying to, you know, use real baseball strategy. And with uh, Blue Moon Odom being a right-hander, we have our lineup in there <coughs> versus righties. Clay Del Ripple will start game one at catcher. Game two will be sank in, and we'll get these guys into uh, game two. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown here for the Seattle Pilots. Batting leadoff at shortstop is Jerry Devanen. There you go. Batting second in center field is Tommy Agee. Batting third in left field is Jose Cruz. Batting cleanup playing first base is Darren Johnson. 
Batting fifth in right field is Joe Pepitone. Batting sixth at third base is Aurelio Rodriguez. Batting seventh is the catcher, Clay Dalrymple. Batting eighth is the second baseman, Van Kelly. And batting ninth is the pitcher, John Gelnar. Okay, we'll take a look at Blue Moon Odom. Making his 12th start, he's 7-3 with a 3.76 ERA. More walks than strikeouts. 42 strikeouts, in fact, in 83 and two-thirds innings pitched. Opponents only batting 209 against him. He does have three complete games. His fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 49%. He's only got one good pitch. That is the sinking fastball. The traditional fastball is just a tick below league average. Overall rated in 83. The 25-year-old righty is a free agent after the 1971 season. Uh, yes, he did miss seven weeks this year due to a dislocated hip, which is why he's only making his 12th start. If we look at his log, he had three consecutive complete games in a row starting uh, against the Seattle Pilots. Uh, he won six consecutive starts before losing his last start uh, against the Angels, where he went six innings, giving up seven runs, four earned, Nine hits, only one walk, um, and he suffered the loss in that one. Let's take a look at the A's lineup. Gene Tennis is back in there behind the plate. He has a terrible arm, rated a 68, worse than Kirkpatrick. And everybody else is back in their normal position today. Here we go, Jerry Devannon leading off. We've got the... Pilots in the red, blue, and yellow today. That's my favorite uniform. As Devannon strikes out looking. One down. Here is Tommy Ag. 2-2 two -two count. And he strikes out on a curveball. Odom coming out, throwing strikes. Two outs for Jose Cruz and... He's got an 82 power. Somehow he does not have a home run. This, did he have a home run with the other two? No, he's never had a home run in his career despite having an above average power. So that's a, that's a guy that's due, if you ask me. We'll take a double down the line all the way to the wall. Tommy Reynolds gets it in as quickly as he can, but Cruz has a double. His 13th of the season. And we've got a runner in scoring position. Now, after t yesterday's game, uh, I want to say that Darren Johnson maybe has finally hit his way out of his slump. He had his 26th home run and his 13th double of the season. Here he hits a ground ball to short, and Boa, one of the better defenders, makes the play. So we strand the runner at second, and we go to the bottom of the first. Let's take a look at the A's lineup. Batting leadoff in center field is Rick Monday. Batting second and catching is Gene Tennis. Batting third at third base is Sal Bando. Batting cleanup in right field is Reggie Jackson. Batting fifth at first base is Nate Colbert. Batting sixth in left field is Tommy Reynolds. Batting seventh at second base is Dick McAuliffe. Batting eighth at shortstop is Larry Boa. And batting ninth is the pitcher John Odom. John Gelnar making his 18th start. Uh, you can see here, look at this, 18 starts last year, 21 games, 7-2. and two. 18 starts, 21 games, 2-7. and seven. He's got a 5.68 ERA, 44 strikeouts, and 90 and a third innings pitched. Opponents are batting 310 against him, no complete games. Fastball tops out at 90 miles an hour at ground ball percentage is 43.6 percent his fastball is his only good pitch is rated at 81 overall rated at 77 the 27 year old righty is arbitration eligible at the end of the 71 season looking at his log a typical performance from gelnar against the royals he went five and a third gave up four runs on nine hits two walks three strikeouts did not get a decision that's very typical of him he did have three losses in a row. He hasn't won a ball game since July 16th. But he does give us some innings, and that's really all we can hope for. 
Don't give up more than four runs. Here's our defense. Top notch. As always, we got um, a solid infield. Outfield looking good. Below league average, of course, is our right fielder, Pepitone. And behind the plate is Del Ripple. Throwing out base runners at a 40% clip. Okay, Rick Monday leading it off versus John Gelnar. It's a 1 2 count. Eddie takes strike three looking. That's a nice way to start the ball game. One down. Here's Gene Tennis. He had yesterday off. That is a long fly ball down the left field line. It's going to be foul. A lot of territory in the Oakland Coliseum. And Jose Cruz tracks it down, makes the catch. Two down then for Sal Bando. Four for 11 in his career versus Gelnar with two home runs. And a base hit to center field. Bando continues to hit our team well. Runner on first for the slugger, Reggie Jackson. He's got a 1-0 count. Low and outside, he swings at it and pokes it to left where Pepitone, I'm sorry, Jose Cruz makes the catch. So the first inning is scoreless. We go to the top of the second, and Joey Pep will lead it off. Pepitone down the left field line. That'll be off the wall for a double. It's good to have the Sluggers doing something. That's his 15th double of the year. Leadoff man in scoring position. Aurelio Rodriguez, I'd like to hit him, have him hit it to the right side. He is two for four against Odom. We could just have him swing away. That's all we needed him to do. The ground ball to first gets Pep to third. Del Ripple, well, we're going to go on contact. Del Ripple, in his second go around with the Pilots this year, has started hitting much better. Of course, he strikes out, so that inning is done. Here's Kelly. Yep. What a waste. We go to the bottom of the second. Well, so we did score. That's bad news, and I have a feeling this is where Colbert will start things off. With the uh, well, fly ball to right. I thought he would probably get a hit. Le most leadoff guys get at least get a single. Brown ball to first from Tommy Reynolds. He was off yesterday, too. Gilmar, two quick outs, and here's Dick McAuliffe. He led off the ball game yesterday. And he strikes out swinging. Wow. Gelnar putting it all together. I need a little drink here. I've, I've given up on the tea. I was trying to drink more tea, less caffeine, calm my nerves. But I'm just an angry person, so I'm going back to coffee. I'm going to lean into it. John Gelnar leading off. Gelnar, 3-1 count, and he's swinging as a pitcher. What a dumbass. That would have been ball four. One out. Here's Jerry Devannon. Struck out the first time, struck out the second time. Remember when Darren Johnson struck out five times in a ball game? Jeez. Unbelievable. And AG will ground out. Can't get anybody on to steal against AG. We go to the bottom of the third. Larry Boa leading it off. Oh, batting 280. Oh, ground ball that gets past Devannon. Devannon having a bad ball game. They bring the corners in. Will Boa be going? That's a good question. Full count. And he walks the pitcher. Well, this is where it ends. We know that now. We can't do anything about it. And a three-run home run by the leadoff hitter to the deepest part of the park. I mean, it was written in the stars. There was never anything that we could do about it. That's a career-high 18 home runs for Rick Monday. Yeah, when we did not score... When we had Cruz on third, that's when the game was over. We 
Don't matter now. We're just playing it out. Good job by Rodriguez starting the double play. Can we get one run? That is the question. Cruz gets hit. We'll try to steal. 75% chance. Curveball. Cruz is successful. I think that's a damn it. That's a tenth for him, yeah. So instead of trying to hit to the right side, playing small ball with our terrible offense, just let Darren Johnson swing away. It don't matter. He gets the job done on his own. We'll go on contact, but this is a sure strikeout. No, two roll count. Oh, they're going to give us one. We'll take it. That's our one run for today. And Pepitone drives in a run. I think he's second on the team in RBI now. Yeah, it was 68. Johnson has 73. Whoa, back-to-back -back singles. Get a little rally going here. It's time for the rip. 2-2 Two -two count. Oh, down the line. That'll get Pepitone in. Rodriguez goes to third. A one-out double. RBI double. For Dalrymple, that's his fourth of the season. He's got his average up to 212, or 220. I like what he's doing here. Okay, well, we're going to go on contact because we want to try to tie this game up. Um... Kelly, not a lot of success versus o Odom. He's one for 11. Oh, uh, yep. That's what had to happen. And then the pitcher. Shoot. I mean, I really want to take him out, right? But we're doing a double header. So that would means we, we would have to take Ruthven or Leonard, and they would have to give us at least... Three. Four. Uh, uh, what would automatically be an out anyway, right? Whoever we bring in would be a certain out. Uh, Blue Moon Odom's ERA was 376. So we're not going to score more than three runs today anyway we slice it. Well, let's see if Geldar, he's betting 200. How many doubles does he have? None. He's due for a double. Let's go. Full count. Ground ball. Boa's going to cut it off and make the play. Yeah. Well, we built it up. All for nothing. We do get two runs, though. That's more than I thought we would score. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Nate Colbert will lead it off. Ground ball to Devan in there. He finally stops one. One down for Tommy Reynolds. 22. Strikeout. Base hit from Boa. Blue Moon Odom. Copy it up. Well, I don't know what to say about that. Third time through, Devannon struck out twice. Oh, at least he touched it. He's so happy that he touched it. One out. There's Tommy Agee. So we have three doubles today. And I wonder if that's intentional by the game, not giving us runners at first to steal. Blue Moon Odom, who's walked a 1,000 batters this year, hasn't walked a single batter yet. The game is making up for it by giving him hits. Um, but he hasn't yet to walk anybody. There we go. See, matter of time. Two outs. We're definitely stealing. He's already got one stolen base today. Throw that curve. Nope, right on the middle. And he's out, of course. So, yeah, we've absolutely lost this ball game, And there's nothing we can do about it. Can we get a double play? Great. And then Bando, the Bandalorian. Base hit. And that'll do it for Gelnar. 
He's got 95 innings. He threw 95 last year. So, uh, yeah, like the game is basically telling you exactly what he is. Which is below average, you know? Oh. Okay. Uh, Ted David said he's a loogie. I guess if we bring him in just for one batter, we could probably use him in game number two. Fly ball to right. And that's it. So we're through five. We're losing four to two. And that's probably going to be the final score, I'm guessing. Johnson strikes out. Ooh, Pepitone, yeah, but we won't get any singles today. Because if we do, we're either thrown out uh, or it's a double. That's it. So Pepitone got a second double. Rodriguez somehow hits it to third like an idiot. And uh, Ripple strikes out. Davidson will come out. Well, we're going to go to DeLeo. What's the DeLeo? Dennis Leonard coming in. I'd like to get an inning and a half out of him here. It's only his second strikeout of the year. Long ball to Kelly. And Dickey McAuliffe. Round ball to Fritz. Yeah, that was easy. And Kelly. Oh, it's a walk. Wow, he's not a good bunner at all. Yeah, this game is not playing into our hands in any way. Like, I... We have to take out Leonard. We cannot even just try to get a bunt because small ball just not working either the game is going to give it to us or they're not and the answer is no at this point but we'll bring in Bosch who's a switch hitter he'll bat lefty and maybe he's got a home run in him oh double play okay. well that was like a bunt wow Devannon sucks that's the third strikeout today for Devannon. And another garbage inning. All right, well. We can't even use Bosch defensively. We need Pepitone. He's the only person getting hits for us today. Shit, we got to use Ray Peters. He's not good. I'd like to get two innings out of Peters. One inning is really pushing it. Odom flies out to right. And Rick Monday. Off the end of the bat to left. Pepitone's three for three today. Cruz is one for one. I think he's walked twice. Stole a base and was caught stealing. And we'll give him another hit. There's no point in stealing now. I mean, we don't have a chance. So, a double play. That's a great job, game. And four for four for Pepitone. I think it matters. Oh, and an error gets him to second. Oh, this will be our junk run. That's nice. Good job, game. Yeah, it gets past Boa. That makes total sense. Pepitone scores. That's our junk run. It we, That doesn't matter. We, we will not win the ball game. That's not why the game did that. It That's just the one uh, gratuitous opportunity. Oh, shit, biscuits. We tied it up. Oh, to get to Peters. God, this game. We're still going to lose, and we're going to lose big. But, like, that is annoying that that just happened. Well, now we got to take out Ray Peters. Uh, versus righties. All right, we're going to go to Rich Rollins. We can't really use Sanguian because he's going to start game two. 
All right. Uh, let's see. One one. Odom officially tired. A comebacker. Is he too tired to bend over? No, he's not. Okay. Crap. If this goes into extra innings, we are screwed. Mm. What's our defense look like? Devannon's coming out for Belanger for defensive purposes. And. Uh, Oh, brother. Oh, no. It is Freddie Gladden. I know you're not glad to see him. He has been horseshit. Two-thirds of an inning has given up ten runs and six walks. Seven hits. You got the better defense. Will it make a difference? Ground ball to Belanger. You get in the game, it's going to find you. Good job by Belanger. One down. Bando, two for two with a walk. And a base hit. Reginald. Oh, this is a two-run home run right here. No, it's even worse. It's a walk. Can we get a double play and get out of this? Oh, Fred Gladding fooled somebody. That's embarrassing. Colbert 0 for 4 with two strikeouts. And uh, Tommy Reynolds, game on the line. And it's 5 to 4. Okay. It's all right. We were going to lose no matter what. Seven to four, Oakland, and we'll wrap it up here against Raleigh. It's Belanger, AG, infield single. Let's steal to pad the stats. That's all we care about right now. Jose Cruz. AG tags up. Oh, Darren Johnson. Wow, that's a junk home run if I ever saw one. Final score, 7-6. to six. All right, so we'll be back as soon as I can get this uploaded. And uh, play game two today. Well, there's the National League for you. Philadelphia's won six in a row. They're trying to make it interesting. And, uh, I mean, this is intentional. The game will always keep it close in the other divisions. New York's just two games back of Baltimore. Damn it, we still have not been able to make up ground on the worst record in the AL. Okay, we'll take a look here at headline news. Brainiac Baseball, Daily Brie. Jay Johnstones gets four ribby. A's beat Seattle. Lead is now eight. Transactions. Uh, another retirement. Howie Reed. How are we doing? He's going to retirement. Well, he was bad last year in nine appearances for Les Expos. All right. Let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Another one-run game because it had to be. Um, Pepitone, definitely player of the game. Four hits, only drove in one. That's part of the problem. He had two doubles. And Fred Gladding takes the loss. He was bad. He's 0-4 now. Good news is he will not pitch in game two. Blue Moon Odom gets the win. He's 8-3. and three. Hot Raleigh Fingers gets his 14th save. Couple of home runs for the A's. All right, here is uh, Quick Hits number four. 
That should be a fun one to view if you have time. It's, you know, they're five minutes or less for the most part, right around five minutes. So if you've got five minutes, take a look. And until later tonight, everyone have a great one.